many people have a lot of confusion about being a world-class speaker because many people think that they are not meant to be great speakers so in this video you are about to discover one two three four five six seven misconceptions that many people have about being a great speaker and the first misconception that i think many people have is that you are either a born speaker or not what it's not true like nobody is born as a great speaker i mean you're born as a baby <laughs> that's it you're not never born as a great speaker or a great leader because speaking is something you develop misconception number two is practice makes a man perfect who practice i just have to practice i just have to practice i just have to practice but why am i not improving why am i not getting the promotion why is that i'm still frustrated why is it that i'm actually not an elite person why is that i'm not a ceo yet because you're doing the wrong practice practice does not make a man or a woman perfect right practice makes a man or a woman improved third misconceptions many people have is being a great speaker is all about using hard words and being you know very heavy words to tell people about this is my conception i'm not in my elements and i feel that you need to demonstrate your extra vegan display of your grand you don't need all that great speaking is about connecting it's not about perfection it's all about connection another misconception many people have number four is that they think great speaking and world-class speaking is about pretending to be somebody that you're not oh my god i have to pretend like him i have to act like her i have to combine those qualities you are born and original don't speak like a copy misconception number five is people think sometimes that reading makes a great speaker if i read more i'll be a great speaker there are a lot of great readers who have great information and knowledge and theory who are not able to articulate their points and communicate with precision and elegance in the real world so of course reading is a good habit in general but it's kind of like saying that walking makes a great cricketer I mean of course the cricketer needs to walk but just because if you just because you walk doesn't mean you're going to be a great cricketer in the same way just because you read doesn't mean that you're going to be a great speaker it's a misconception point number six is many people think that once confident always confident that once i become confident i never will lose my confidence wrong of course there is something that we teach inside our program called permanent confidence formula but understand that this is something that you have to work on you you never own this like confidence as as Rodi Ver and one of my friends says you know just like success confidence is not owned it's rented and the rent is due every day what is the rent the rent is preparation the rent is not just practice of speaking but practicing living a good life how you communicate with people the elite people how do you communicate with your customers how do you communicate how do you take care of your health your fitness your energy level your vitality your body language your voice modulation how you think though your outlook toward life all of that determines your confidence so confidence is something that you have to work on on a regular basis if you really want to shine with your great confidence and the final misconception many people have is well other people can do it she can do it kaushik can do it akash can do it neha can do it sandhya can do it arupama can do it kaveri can do it pramod can do it satish can do it kannan can do it vivek can do it but i cannot do it understand you can do it look i understand that if you have not been able to become a great powerful speaker right now it's not your fault it's just that nobody showed you the right formula the right framework the right tactics i'm talking about for your confidence for your influence for your power for your vocabulary for your world-class presentation for your spontaneous speaking right for your body language your voice power how do you make sure you have the right pitch the right tonality the right facial expressions when to smile when not to smile how to engage the people in the right way how to use the right words at the right time to impress and influence with your thought process so that you have the you know you can capture the audience's attention nobody taught you all that and most of the courses out there they you know it's just shit right that's what it is so if you want power make sure to get a practical mentor and if you want our help you have we have thousands of testimonials of people who have been through our program reach out to our team call this number here or there and just say that hey i want a practical program what can you do for us and we'll be happy to talk to you we don't take everybody inside our program we are very selective because we only take people who are serious who really want to transform their life in a practical manner not in a theoretical manner okay so if you want to really take you to another level break these misconceptions and i'll see you on the other side Bishal Sarkar here reminding you 
that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. My name is Anurag Gupta. I love talking about habits, researching about habits and then applying the principles of habits, how to build a habit and how to break a habit in my own life. Today I want to speak about my mentor, my trainer, Vishal Sarkar. So, uh, so earlier uh, what used to happen is like if, uh, if provided a chance, if I am given a chance, I would send someone else, some of my other colleagues, okay you go on stage here, it's okay. I'll not take this chance. You go and stay. So I, I, I used to be uh, like people, okay, you take it, like sort of leader sort of thing. I ah, you go. But now since I am, I have done this course, I have given a chance. I would again, I would be the first person to go jump on the uh, jump onto the stage and do the presentation. My message to all of you is that if you're lacking confidence, if you do not know, you know, about public speaking or if you are scared to go to stage, if you have stage fright, this is a course for you. Almost 2012, when I left my job, I came to Vishal Sarkar because I was very afraid of public speaking. So I came to him, I told him, I want to become a public speaker, I want to take my knowledge to the world and he trained me. The best thing about Vishal Sarkar was his complete course was practical. I never been to such a practical course ever in my life. He he make me come on the stage again and again, again and again, and because of that, I improved a lot. And today I'm standing here in front of you, recording video very easily, very smoothly, and I'm not afraid. Hi, I'm Krishna. Uh, I work for IBM as a consultant. Now I have more uh, clarity as to how I go and present on stage, and. Uh, the decrease the nervousness uh, that I used to have on stage, I have more clarity as to what to go and present during a presentation. Hi, I'm Sachin. I work as an Inform Security Manager for a bank. <coughs> the biggest challenge for me before coming to Pishal Sarkar's program is, you know, I was actually, uh, there was a lack of confidence in me. And then, you know, I always face this challenge when I actually face senior management. I think these are two things that was lacking in me. I mean, amazing course. Uh, the three-day course was wonderful. A lot of things to learn, a lot of things. But, you know, if I can point out two or three things which I really liked, I think the first one is the rule framework. Uh, it actually tells you to actually, you know, check out what are the things that's affecting your, you know, the seven or eight Fs, especially your friends, families, you know, the fulfillment, the fun, the financial freedom. That was amazing. I actually did a deep, a deep thought process for myself and checked out where I was right now and I'm sure you know I'm going to implement that that's one the principles which I have learned I applied those in my life I built it as a as a habit I practice it every day and because of that I am an improved person I will recommend this course to each and every person who is having a stage fright who is afraid of being on the stage why because once you go and attend Vishal Sarkar's training program all your fears will go away I'm telling you, all your fears will go away. Uh, stage fear, I used to get sweat in my hands and on my forehead before I used to go and present. It was amazing. Uh, we learned a lot of tools, techniques. Uh, it will take us to a different level is what I thought. Second thing is about uh, presentation, right? Uh, Vishal actually taught us the right structure for making a presentation. And uh, you know, from the start to the body to the conclusion, these are two things I really learned from Vishal's course, and I'm sure I'm going to implement that. It's an amazing program. Only one request I would be having with you: once you attend the program, once you learn the practical aspects of public speaking, please go and apply in your life. Because if you don't go and apply in your life, then it is of no use. Then all the effort what the trainer, Mr. Vishal, has put on you will go on vain. And his time is precious and your time is precious. So, I would say, please go and attend public speaking program by Vishal Sarkar. If you are very serious about going to the next level in your life, in terms of improving your confidence, improving your personal life and professional life. Thank you. Positive affirmations. I think that's something I should be telling you. Uh, that's something I, that's you know one of the things that I've actually learned from Vishal Sarkar's course so before I go for presentation I keep on telling myself you know that I am confident I can actually go and make good speeches I am going to be valuable to the audience 
no when you actually tell those speech you get that energy you get the high to actually go and give the presentation and i think bishal taught me that and uh, that's why now i'm more confident my message to all of you is that if you're lacking confidence if you do not know you know about public speaking or if you are scared to go to stage if you have stage fright this is a course for you yeah. it's really awesome people who are low on confidence or have some this sort of stage fear should definitely come and attend this uh, attend this course yeah so uh, so earlier uh, what used to happen is like if uh, if provided a chance if i am given a chance i would send someone else some of my other colleagues okay you go on stage here it's okay i'll not take this chance you go and stay so i i i used to be uh, like people okay you take it like sort of leader sort of thing ah chalo yeah, you go but now since i am i have done this course i i given a chance i would again i would be the first person to go jump on the uh, jump onto the stage and do the presentation for the champions for the champions